Reminisce on dangerous summers with just a thug nigga working for drug dealers in the neighborhood. Run up out of age of 13, we was gunning and it was fun to see the police running. Niggas disappear when we come and live. Nappy head shorty, you pick it to drink it 40. My niggas is naughty and your niggas is fucking corny. But you left me in the summer of 89. A very good year. Crack cocaine sales rose. Alright, what's going on, YouTube? Beamer Fawns. And uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to tune your car with chat GPT AI. So uh, let's just get right into it. It's pretty straightforward once you know what to do. Okay, so when you guys are trying to flash your tune or tell chat GTP what you want for your tune, you need to be very specific with it. And basically, you want to tell it everything that you want. You want to talk to it for a little while and make sure that it has everything that you want. And once you've got... Once you know that you've told it everything, then just basically tell it, Yes, I would like you to make the file for me. Just like I've done... Get out of here, cat. Just like I've done here, and then it will send you, or sorry, I sent that to it, and then it will send you a download file. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get an application called MSV70 Quick Flash. You're going to want to open, well, install, and then open the application. Then you're going to plug in your cable and that will turn green. Make sure this app is actually really good. If your latency is not set properly, a message will pop up and it will say change your latency to one millisecond. Click that because if your latency is not right, you will not see the cable. So then if you, you're going to want to go to read and you're going to want to identify your ECU. Then you're going to read tune. And you're probably going to read the full as well. You're going to send both of those to ChatGTP so it can analyze your stock tune. And then once it's analyzed your tune, edited it, and sent you back your download file, you are going to go over to Flash. I can't click it right now because I don't have a cable. You're going to click Flash. And then you'll have options over here. You'll have Identify, so you'll do that again. And then you will go down here and you'll click Flash Tune. And once you do that, it will ask you to choose your file. And I will show you this later on in the video when I'm actually flashing this new tune. You, a box will pop up. It'll ask you to find your tune, make sure it's extracted. Find the one that is the one you want. Mine is the version 2, Final Max, Midrange, Basie Verbals. You'll select it, and then you will click Write Tune, or Flash. And that normally only takes... Yes, hi Rusty. Hello. That normally only takes a couple minutes. The reading full tune takes about 30 minutes. However, you don't have to worry about anything screwing up, because you're just reading, you're not writing. So if you're just reading it, you don't have to worry too much about anything screwing up. When you are flashing, though, be very careful. You want everything to be set nicely you don't want your cable to move you just want everything to be still and once your flash is good it will tell you to turn off your ignition for 10 seconds do that and then you can go for a drive your car might feel slow at first but that's because these cars from factory at 50 percent throttle your throttle blades are open 90 percent i've told my tune to take that off if Yours probably will too, because that's how it should be. But if you want that to stay, you can have it to stay as well. Because as you guys see here, I told it to keep the throttle blades at 75% open at 50% pedal input. So it's kind of like how it is from factory, but just toned down a bit for more control. So yeah, that is the tuning side of things that is how to actually load your flash and flash it um and yeah the program is called msv70 quick flash it's 40 bucks canadian 
but it was very worth it because the other apps that I used did not work at all. Like, let's see, what else did I use? Oh. Yeah, I can't remember what else I used, but they did not work. So don't go using any free... Oh, two... No. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, I'll see you guys back at the car when we are actually flashing it. So basically, you're going to need a laptop, a KDCAN cable that goes from your computer to your OBD2, and you're going to need ChatGPT and flashing software. So I'm using MSV70 Quick Flash. We are going to identify my ECU. Oh, sorry. Whoops. We're going to go to Flash. And we're going to go Identify. Of course, he wants to start up his car right now. Then we're gonna go to load bin. Here's the one, launch control, version 2.1. Loaded tune, ready? Make sure your cable's connected. Make sure your ignition is on. No accessories on. Pointing happy in caring hands. Unplug everything so that you have no voltage spikes. And once all that's done, you click flash tune this is the scary part you don't want to touch anything once the time is timer is started that means your flash is flashing you do not want to touch anything until this timer has stopped and this basically says complete down here <laughs> so I will resume this video once the progress bar is started moving See, look what happened. It said connection lost from cable, and now my fuel pump is running. So let's hope that this didn't just. F I'm not gonna say it. I don't want to say it. But it's been a minute, and the progress bar hasn't moved since I reconnected it. So. And I didn't touch the cable, that's just what it did on its own. Okay, so when it says flashing tune complete, please power off the ignition, then you can power it off. And take your key out, and then you're safe to do stuff. Yeah, and you can do whatever as soon as you unplug that. But my tune file didn't upload for some reason, so I gotta... Right, so I had to go back to my old tune. So I had some issues flashing my version 2 tune, and that's because I added launch control, and that's more invasive to the ECU. So I basically have to do an unlock thing, but if you guys have issues like that, take a picture of this, because this is telling you everything that your car in Flash is doing. Take a picture of that, send it to your AI, and it will tell you, it knows exactly what's going on. Like, I took a picture and it said, oh, I see that this is locked and this is false, so that means that this, um, the ECU is still locked. And that's why you can't do it. So I said, okay, well, let's just remove launch control and see if that works. And what do you know? It, it worked. So, if you guys have any problems like that, just ask your AI what the issue is and chances are it will be able to help you figure it out. It is, like I am bewildered at how smart this thing is. And there we go, flashing tune complete. Please power off the ignition for 10 seconds. So yeah, that is how you flash a tune on your car, folks. Now is the driving portion, so I'm gonna go take this thing for a drive. Let's see if it burbles 
and see if the power, the mid-range power is better. Also, somebody else I spoke to said, if you just keep asking your AI for more and more and more and more power, with like if you provide data logs, it will keep giving you more and more and more and more power until you're maxed out and stay reliable. So I'm probably going to be trying that with this car here. So stay tuned. Okay, and uh, last thing I want to say before I um, upload this video is this is not intended to take business away from tuners. I still intend to pay full price for a full dyno tune on this car. The main reason I'm doing it with AI first is because one, I don't want to drive around with a stock tune with all these parts when I'm still going to be adding more parts. I'm not done adding stuff yet. And two, I'm just kind of curious what it will feel like or even or if it's even worth getting a full tune. This kind of gives you an idea if you want to spend the money on a tune or not. So this is not intended to take business away from tuning companies. I am still going to probably get my car tuned from 22 RPD or one of those companies. But I just wanted to get that out there because I know this is kind of a touchy subject for tuners, but I, this is not what I'm trying to do. This is just so that I can see if I want to spend the money on a tune, a proper tune, because I guarantee somebody will be able to do better than AI still. But this is running on my version 2 tune. video I think I'll do a driving video fuel mileage has gone up a little bit since installing the tune but the power delivery is a lot smoother it idles smoother just everything it shifts smoother everything just feels a lot better This guy just said he thought he said uh, I thought it was a Lamborghini. <laughs> but that is basically how to tune your E90 with Chat GTP GPT. So if this video was helpful to any of you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been Beamer Fawns with another video. Signing off. Peace.